you said when you came out, which I thought was quite interesting, you said, I don't really like to admit this, she was violent, we yeah. both made mistakes, but she was very controlling. Yeah. And I felt like she called the shots in yeah. this relationship. Well, she, she locked me in the flat one day. She locked and, you in the flat? Yeah, she locked me in the flat. Obviously, me being angry, I didn't know the door was locked. I've gone over, I've grabbed the door handle, pulled it, and it's come straight off in my hands. So we're stuck on a three-storey uh, three flat, and I've had to jump off a three-storey balcony. I ripped all my legs <laughs> open, all my back, all my legs, the lot, and I ended up in hospital, you know, because she won't let me out of the house. It's not funny, though. So, um, Can I tell you why it's not funny? And I don't want to upset maybe. any of the audience, because I completely appreciate the fact that you're here, but I'll tell you why I don't think you should laugh. If this was the other way around and a woman was sat here and a bloke had locked her in a flat and she had to jump out and injured herself, you lot would not be laughing. You would be saying, he's a complete nightmare, he should be locked up and that's disgraceful. But somehow, if it happens to a bloke, that's funny. That's not funny, is it? That isn't. I, I was more of a man not hitting her back. Told my team, she told my team she would give you black eyes. Yeah, well, I went to the black eye, a fat lip and everything, you know. Hitting me. Uh, she, she used to say I was bad because I was the one who turned around and, yeah, yeah, I did put my hands through doors and punch walls and stuff. What a great I, environment I, in which I, to bring I, two children. I'd up. rather do that than it her. In modern society, we are supposed to be more accepting, yet there seems to be a false narrative that is a great part of our ideology. The idea that men can't be victims of domestic abuse or rape. The ideology that when a man is raped, he must have enjoyed it and thus, it can't be rape. This isn't the case. As proven by the Jeremy Kyle audience's reaction to a man who had admitted to being a victim of abuse, it is seen as comical, laughable. In September 2010, The Guardian released an article stating that 40% of domestic abuse cases reported were reported by male victims of abuse. And we will return to this, but to start this video, we will look at what is abuse. According to the Domestic Violence Response Team, there are five forms of abuse. Physical abuse, such as grabbing, pinching, shoving, slapping, you get the idea. Withholding access to resources necessary to maintain health. This form of abuse includes withholding access to medical care, medication, food, fluids, sleep, or even forcing drug use. Coercing, or attempting to coerce any sexual contact without consent, and attempting to undermine the victim's sexuality. This includes marital rape, forced sex after physical beating, attacks on the sexual parts of the body, forced fondling, treating someone in a sexually derogatory manner, criticising sexual performance and desirability, and so much more. Instilling or attempting to instill fear. This can occur through threats and intimidation, menacing, blackmail, harassment and even mind games. Isolating or attempting to isolate victims from friends, family, school and or work. And again, this can be done through many different means, such as undermining victims' personal relationships, constant checking up, use of unfounded accusations and even forced imprisonment. Undermining or attempting to undermine victims' sense of worth. And finally, economic. Making or attempting to make the victim financially dependent. Let's get straight to the point, shall we? We go after vulnerable women. Yes, we target you, and then we trap you. It's what we do. It's in our nature. Don't take it personally. We stay well away from confident, empowered, well-informed and self-assured women with the ability to see through us. If you're a woman like that, we don't want to be anywhere near you. We will find it hard to manipulate or deceive you. Plus your strength, confidence, awareness highlights and reveals our weakness and insecurity. And that's a side we like to keep buried. To help hide that side, we seek and prey on the vulnerable. For your vulnerability makes us feel strong. 
powerful and in control. So, seeing as there are five different forms of domestic abuse, and if the study reported in The Guardian is correct, and 40% of reported cases of abuse are reported by men, then why is it we can't seem to comprehend nor accept that this is a real thing happening in the world? Why do we insist on remaining blind? There are numerous reasons as to why I decided to do this video. One being the footage from The Jeremy Kyle Show at the beginning of this video. The other being due to the reactions of the public in social experiments. And another being due to the lack of domestic refuge centres for male victims of abuse. We live in a world with an ideology that only women can be left battered and bruised. Campaigners claim that men are often treated as second-class victims and that many police and councils don't take them seriously. And is it so hard to believe otherwise with the example shown at the beginning? The reaction of the audience. According to John Mays, their plight is largely overlooked by the media, in official reports and in government policy. For example, in the provision of refuge places. Is this equality? When there are 7,500 refuge centres for women, but less than 100 for men. According to data from the Crime Survey for England and Wales, at least 4% of men ages 16 and above experienced domestic abuse between 2014 and 2015. Abuse is thought to be a control issue. Abusers believe they have the right to manipulate, control and humiliate another person. And this isn't a trait designated to one gender. It can be in anyone. The purpose of this video is to inform and educate, just like with all of my others. And I hope that those watching this video will take the suffering of male victims more seriously. As said by Mr Bailey to the BBC, to admit being abused can seem like an admission of failure. This is partially due to the image our Western society generally has of a man. Men are often thought of as strong, domineering and macho. Boys, even at a young age, are taught that it is unmanly to cry, and to many, the idea of a grown man being frightened or vulnerable is a taboo. The idea of a man, the half of a relationship that is usually physically stronger, being battered, is thought to be ludicrous. This is why many male victims of abuse appear to feel less of a man for suffering abuse. Feel as though they are in some way not manly enough, and not to have some sort of magical ability to prevent the abuse. But this isn't the case. They don't have some sort of magical ability to prevent the abuse. And we as a Western society, a civilised society, should stop endorsing this ideology that they should have this magical capability to stop and prevent this abuse. Abuse is a very touchy subject for me. And I'm sorry if I seemed a little bit angry. But over the years, I have often dated the wrong type of guy or girl. And though I know that I'm not a man, I have been in my fair share of abusive relationships where people have seen a vulnerable, disabled girl and taken advantage in every possible way. Last year, I escaped a very volatile relationship where everything I did was undermined and I was made to feel completely worthless. My messages were constantly checked and some deleted before I could read them. I couldn't leave him because of the constant threats of him hurting himself and others. And when I did finally break up with him, he took an overdose of my medication, meaning that I had no painkillers for a month and I had to endure some of the worst pain. Not only this, but he denied me my antidepressants, which made things far worse. My partner completely isolated me and did things that I'm not entirely ready to talk about. There is a reason why I'm mentioning this at the end of this video. Despite everything, I still found the strength to walk away and break away 
from the cycle of abuse. And though I am not a man and couldn't possibly comprehend the emotions that any male victim must be feeling, I want to say this. No matter what, you are not a failure. You have worth and your life is meaningful. If you are in an abusive relationship, you do have the strength to walk away and never turn back. You can break that cycle. And more so than anything, you are not alone. Because every other man and woman who has experienced domestic abuse and is still experiencing it today, they know your pain to some extent. You're not suffering alone. Don't suffer alone.